So that would be on Cody White, who was back there with Jalen Warren, Charlie. And that's one of those things you don't often see called, but they're kind of looking at that as an emphasis. Yeah, they really are. Safety is obviously a key, and they're really going to pinpoint that. And you can see right there, unfortunately, it was against the Steelers. One point that I do want to mention, Bob, there was a lot of talk about Calvin Austin possibly being that kickoff returner. He is down there in the boot. We'll get more explanation. Mike Tomlin will clear that up, but it doesn't look like he's going to play today. Mitch Trubisky under center for the first time. McFarland is in the backfield. He'll get a good look. So will Jalen Warren. First pass is completed to George Pickens. And he has close to first down yardage right there. And that's been a combination we've seen a lot. Uh, no matter who the quarterback is, Charlie. Uh, far, Tariq Woolen was there defensively. He's manning up on Pickens. Second and one after that gain of nine. First possession of the day. Trubisky's going to fire down the field. Intended for Kevin Rader. A little too high. It falls incomplete. We expect to see Rader and Connor. Hayward, Cam's brother in there tonight at tight end as both Pat Fryermuth and Zach Gentry likely will not play. And Mitch had to get rid of the ball a little earlier than what he would like. When you look at safety blitz coming from Mitch's left side here, he's trying to release the ball. Big hit right here to start on this ball first line. Mason Cole, 61. James Daniel, 78. He's Those are the two guys who came in this offseason. Steel is trying to improve. It's Trubisky going downfield looking for Pickens. A lot of contact there. Again, it's Tariq Woolen in coverage, and that falls incomplete. It'll set up a third and six. Trying to take a shot down the field right there. You can see Pickens, they're trying to get him involved in the game. Mr. Trubisky, very comfortable what he brings to the table. Solid defense right there. And Woolen is a man they drafted fifth round this year, so they're expecting good things from him later in the draft. Anthony McFarland remains in the game again. George Pickens going to get a good look. Gunnar Osheski's in this rotation as well. You don't see many 6-4 corners, and that would, that would, that's what he brings to the table. Big advantage, and they're going to try to take advantage of that as much as they can. Pressure's on. There's Gunnar Osheski. He's also brought in as a kickoff return specialist, but we've seen this in training camp. He could be effective in the pass game, and that's another Pittsburgh Steeler first down. Nice slant route coming from your right to left here. Mitch stands in there, delivers the football. I love the way he accelerates, pivots out of the cut. Huge game. You can see him. He's not looking to run out of bounds. He's trying to run somebody over and make a play. He's trying to prove to Coach Tomlin that, hey, if you need me, I'll deliver. Justin Coleman was the man beaten on that play by Oshesky, who turned it to the outside. He's a guy who was a pro bowler as a special teams guy. So it's first and 10 now for the Steelers as they go deep in Seattle territory. Trubisky again, this time more time. Rolling to his left, he can do that. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown! The gunner is in. Gunner Osheski with a touchdown. He's been impressive in camp. He continues tonight, and Mitch Trubisky takes him right down the field. <laughs> That's what you want to see on your opening drive right there. You see, just working. He realized he's uncovered. He's saying, look, Mitch, throw me the football. And that was nice. By Mitch being patient, rolling out to his left, finding the open receiver, putting the Steelers into the end zone for six. How about Gunnar Osheski? Went to New England undrafted, turned it into a first-team All-Pro with punt returns, kickoff returns. I don't know if we're going to see him there tonight, but we will be seeing him. Steelers, after their first drive results in a touchdown, bring back Trubisky again. In the pocket, fires. It's a beautiful pass right there for Connor Hayward. That's Cam's brother. He's been making some noise up there at St. Vincent. What a nice pattern. What a this running game and trying to get these running backs going. All right, Jalen Warland does check into the game. Number 30, as you saw Najee Harris on the sidelines. A very busy man last year. Warren gets away. And so does Trubisky. Away from the pressure. Running and getting some yardage. When it looked like there was going to be a loss on the play, he shed the would-be tackler, and he turns it into a nice game. The mobility here. We watched 78. Just loses leverage right here. Just looks from a communication perspective. He was looking left, missed his guy to the right. And here, Trubisky was showing off his speed. Sacks last year. He's one of their best linebackers. Third and four, big play. He steps up, fires this time with a little bit of pressure, just out of the reach of Gunnar Olszewski, and it falls incomplete. It'll set up a fourth down. Nice pressure.